sanitize your container let it dry on the sun make just just try to be neat while making your product let the containers you're using <laughs> Welcome back again to my channel. If today is the first time of seeing this sweet, hi, and you're welcome to this channel. Please kindly hit the red subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so as to be notified anytime an upload is coming from me. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for dropping by. In today's video, we are going to be looking at why pink hair products do not work or reason why your cream that was initially working stopped working. If you have been experiencing this or you've been going through one of these, then you just want to stay in this video to the very end. A lot of people have been asking questions, why do my skincare products not working? Why is it that when it's working for a particular period of time, it stops working? Something is actually making it stop working. And I'm going to be giving you six reasons or even more why your skincare product is stop working along the line. So if you... Uh, in this shoe, then stay to the very end of this video. If you have not liked this video or subscribed to this channel till now, you just want to do it now. Please kindly hit the red subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so as to be notified anytime an upload is coming from me. Okay, the number one reason why your skincare product is not working is fake ingredients. If you are a formulator and you're using fake ingredients to do your formula to produce your Excuse me, your skincare product. You are not going to get those items. Okay, so number one reason why your skincare product is not working is fake ingredients. When you're using a fake ingredient to do your formulation to produce your skincare product, then you're not going to get desired results. Your customers will keep complaining. If you're doing it for yourself, then you have to source for original materials. If you're doing it for sales, you have to still source for original materials. I have been there before, like I know how it feels when you finish making a product and then you have to pour it into the butter because of you use a fake material to produce, it hurts. So if you don't want to keep getting yourself hurt, then stay away from fake materials. That is why you see me, I saw this because I have been there and I know how people feel, so I decided to go into it just to make sure that what I am using is original. So that's the number one point. The second one is your formulation. In as much as you have a good material at hand, you also need to know how to formulate the skincare product. You also need to know if the, the, the way this product, this materials work. Some of these materials are not compatible. And when you put them together, you end up um, from, uh, formulating a blunder, something that could just damage someone's skin. Imagine putting niacinamide and AHA together. That's just skin damage you're, you're bringing upon yourself so try to understand this ingredient try to know their pH. they try to know how to balance this product try to know the 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 the, um, pro, the materials that work together the materials that are compatible that's the word the materials that are compatible that can stay together in one place without having to call, uh, have a chemical reaction moving on to the third and most important one which is the exfoliating Exfoliating is one of the key reasons why you don't get desired results when using your skincare product. When you don't exfoliate, when you don't take out the dead skin cell and you're applying skincare products on your body, what it will just do is that it will just sit on your skin there. It's not penetrating inside. It's either you're getting darker or you're just getting skin issues because the dead skin there, the dead skin cell on your skin needs to go up so that the products you're putting on your skin can penetrate deeply and do the work it's meant to do. So try to exfoliate at least three times in a week. You could just do Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and you're good to go. If you do that, if you do it that way, you will not have issues with your skincare product is not working. So please try to get scrub as one of your skincare routine. Don't be lazy about it. It's actually the key to a glowing skin. If you really want to get a glowing skin, then you just need to get a scrub now and start exfoliating that dead skin cell out of your body so that your product can work. Moving on to the fourth one, which is storage. Now, what we mean by storage space is where you keep your skincare products. When you look at a lot of products, over-the-counter products, even some handmade products, when you look at them, you see the right 
keep in a cool dry place keep in a cool dry place the reason why they keep telling you to keep in a cool dry place is skincare products does not want a place that is hot or does not have they does not want to have a counter with sun if you don't want your skincare product to oxidize immediately then stay away from stay and stay and keep it away from sun some people tend to intend to travel with their skincare product i have a customer too that does that before until now but now she has stopped when she travels because she travels a lot when she travels she go with her skincare product and by the time she's coming back she's coming back with like my product is not working for me again what is the problem the reason being that she keeps every of her stuff in her boots and you and i know how hot the trunk can be if you keep your stuff there even not the trunk, inside the car itself is very very hot so Putting your skincare products in there can make it oxidize and lose its potency. It will not be effective to use on the skin. So try to keep your product away from sunlight. Try to keep your product away from a, a, a suffocated environment to avoid your, your skincare product not to work. And the, 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 the fifth one is containers. The containers you're using to package this product matters how neat they are, how clean they are, the environment you're making your skincare product also matter. Because any little jam that goes into the skincare product you're formulating, it makes it go bad in no time. And that will make it lose its potency and stop working. So if you don't want to keep having these issues of my skincare product or customers keep complaining and know that it doesn't work, you just have to keep your environment clean while making the product, sanitize it, sanitize your container, let it dry on the sun. Make just just try to be neat while making your product. Let the containers you're using to package the product be neat. If you're making a vitamin C serum, try to use an amber or a dark bottle. Do not use a transparent one. Sometimes it oxidizes too without you knowing. So that is it for the container. We are moving to the pH balancing which is the sixth one the ph balancing the, the the last ph at which you arrive in formulating your skincare product matters because if your ph is not at the right ph your product will not work that, that is because there are some ingredients you add to that product you're doing you're, you, you're making and if you do not arrive to the ph at which they work on they will not work in your skincare product so you need to balance your ph very very well you need to make sure that you're using ingredients that are on the same ph so that your product will work for you very last but not the least is wrong usage of products guys try to stick to what works for you be sure you know your skin type be sure you know what you're putting on your body at a particular time you don't need to be jumping from one skincare brand to another skincare brand understand what works for you it doesn't matter how expensive or how cheap the product is it's you need to understand how your skin your, your skin works you need to understand sometimes when you you might even be looking at the product that is too cheap don't be surprised that that cheap product will be the one that will do the magic so understand how your skin works understand your skin type so that whoever that is giving you a recommendation, you will be able to tell the person your skin type. And if the person know what he or she is doing, they will recommend skincare products based on your skin type. So know your skin type. Use the right product for your skin. Use the right product for your skin. And trust me, you are not going to have issue. If you implement any one of this, just find where you are wrong. Just go around the video, listen to the video, find where you are wrong, and then implement it trust me you're gonna if you find this video helpful kindly subscribe to this channel for more video and if you are watching from facebook follow for more video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye